Uh, on the matter of uh, Kenyan workers in the Middle East, it's not only AE, but we've had a number of challenges, both in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Iraq, uh, not Iraq, but uh, uh, Qatar, and the uh, UAE at the same time. This is a matter uh, that's ongoing. One, uh, the ministry has undertaken uh, establishment of a committee, an interministerial committee chaired by this office, where migration, interior, foreign affairs, and all other relevant uh, uh, ministries are involved. Uh, and at this ministerial level, we discuss a number of issues, including registrations of agents. The problem sometimes not only at the level of uh, the country of uh, uh, destination, but we had had a challenge of having agencies, recruitment agencies, that are also not well equipped, well trained, and some are not very honest. But to iron out this, there's now a, a, the committee vets them, there's a revetting that is going on, uh, and today they have registered about 50 from a number that of over 1,100 before. So there's now strict compliance with all the necessary uh, security, uh, you know, uh, vetting. These are matters ongoing. And one also the other challenge is that we did not, in the past, we never had a framework of engagement with these countries. So we are now in the process of uh, signing a memorandum of understanding with a well-detailed negotiated document based on even how the salaries and other welfare are actually encompassed. Uh, as I'm talking to you early next week, I am flying out to Dubai, uh, UAE, to sign a bilateral agreement between ourselves uh, and the government of uh, UAE, so that all of those matters are handled in a compressive manner, in, in as far as how best, uh, what will be the expectation on the part of the employ employ uh, employers, the country, ourselves, the agents, and also people, the workers. This matter which has already been negotiated, and we are going to sign uh, an MOU next week. We've already done with uh, Saudi Arabia. We have done also with Qatar. We are now in the process of now expanding uh, our engagements beyond the Middle East. We are now also actually open a front and negotiation with Jordan and all these other countries so that uh, you understand the state of the economy here. <coughs> we cannot all, uh, not all uh, skilled and unskilled workforce can be, absorbed, can be absorbed by economy at the moment. So the best thing is that we are, looking, we are looking at opportunities, not only in the Middle East, but also in other areas, through a framework uh, that is legally binding, through a framework that's well negotiated, through a framework that's going to uh, take all these matters into consideration. At the same time, we're also uh, utilizing our National Industrial Training Authority Institute, uh, both in Nairobi and the river, as a way of training our people before they go take up these jobs. Particularly those who are going to, uh, to be domestic workers, working in homes and industries, we take them through a process of training, uh, some one month, some two weeks, so that they will, by the time they leave here, they are equipped not only uh, with the operational uh, uh, issues, but they are also equipped and they also know what to expect in as far as the culture uh, of those countries uh, are concerned. 